Hello everyone, welcome back to more Z4. In the last video, we were finding the two El Gigantes, and now we're going to move on through this door. Where it will lead us, nobody knows. Apart from me. No, I'm joking. Probably Resident Evil 4 people probably wouldn't know already. Oh, what part's next? It's the stupid bug part. Two lights shall shine light on a new path. Gonna go eight. Oh, eight. So when they're flying, it means they'll die straight away. I don't know if you guys knew that, but uh, yeah, that's uh, what they'll do. But if they start crawling on the ground, they'll they'll take multiple hits. I don't know where, but that's just how it goes. Okay, I really I really don't want to spend long on this part because I really don't enjoy this part at all. So this is the first light here. And that will spawn blocks. I still need to show you the death. Um, the death of this enemy as well, because as I said, it's, it's quite awesome. Your face just melts off. It's pretty awesome. It's building up a stock of grenades again. Hell up, bitch. Whoa, where are you going? Okay. And yeah, these guys start dropping the green eyes in, but there's not no butterfly on the inside. Run. No, you don't. Okay, I think if we go this way, we'll uh, end up with some TMP ammo. It's always good to have some TMP ammo. Foxy things. Rattling up. So here's the TMP ammo. Do, do, do. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, wow, we actually got a blue eye. Well, who would have guessed? Okay, so that's both the lights and it melts the door. That's another cool way of opening the door, actually. The only thing is it doesn't go through the metal bars behind it. Figure that one out. But yeah. How did you get light to melt off the How did you get a light to reflect off the mirror to melt a door to open it? I think that's a pretty cool way of opening a door, don't you? Don't you guys? Okay, so this part actually didn't take us that long to do, so quite happy about that. Where's the switch? Press it. Yes. And we are getting in the head out of here. And then good luckily they can't get past here, so we'll just move on. And then another one of these things in the end of Jones Bullshit. People don't notice this level right here, but you sort of need to operate it to make the thing work. Oh, look at all these hubs we got going. Go. Okay. So that's the end of that. Oh, I've actually got 10 magnum bullets. That's pretty incredible. And your first time playing on this, you think there's going to be a boss fight happening, but there really isn't. And the Royal Insignia. Final piece of. Oh, for the crown. And that's the end of the chapter. 
and I'm not going to save because I just don't need to, not yet. Into a new chapter. There's a new four. Another letter from Ada. Some lovely lipstick on it. Yep, pause if you want to read. I can always say now uh just combine that and then we have a full Salazar family crown. Welcome! Yes, Salazar has a family. What are you selling? Supposedly. I know I could sell some of this, but uh why would I want to do that? <laughs> I'll sell a bullet, okay? Is make it, to make it even. Thank you. Uh, actually, I'll keep some of the. Uh, actually, I'll sell all of them. Keep the flashes for this next part coming up because uh, we're going to have a lot of problems. Ah, Forty-eight grand. Look at that. What are you buying? Okay, he's got nothing new. What are you buying? Got some upgrades. Is that all? <laughs> we'll just go fully, fully Thank on that. Is fully that on this. Not enough cash. Damn it. Stranger. Okay, we're low. Not enough cash. Not yeah, enough okay. cash. We can't afford Come anything else. So thank you ever so much for watching this part, guys. I think I'm. We are really making our way through this now, and I'm really happy that we are. So thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye bye, guys.